Hey you guys, Erin and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So I get a lot of questions over on Instagram as to how did you get your smoothie bowl so thick and creamy? So I'm gonna answer that question for you guys today in just seven simple steps. Fall into the pool of light. Love is in the air tonight. Gonna make you smile, gonna hold you tight. Vibe and makes you feel just right. Fall into the pool of light. Love is in the air tonight. Gonna make you smile, gonna hold you tight. Vibe and makes you feel just right. Step number one, you will need a high speed blender. This is crucial. A high speed blender is a game changer. We have two favorites that we recommend. We love our Vitamix and our Hiram. I will link our web link below so you guys can check out our favorite models. But the reason why we suggest a high speed blender is that it will last you a lifetime. So we burned up our Ninja blender almost immediately trying to make nice cream and decided it was time to make the investment in something that would last longer and and has more horsepower to be able to blend more delicious creations. Step number two, use only frozen ingredients instead of fresh, whether it's fruits and or veggies. And on that note, add your smallest ingredients first. So for example, wild blueberries and raspberries and then strawberries and finally our big banana chunks. Next step, add a minimal amount of liquid. I'm talking just a splash. So for this massive smoothie that will be split between Dusty and I and a little bit for Max, I've added maybe a half cup of organic soy milk. So we oftentimes use water, but if you want it to be even more creamy and rich, opt for a plant milk instead of water. And one step more would be adding a coconut cream instead of just a milk. So now that we've got all of our ingredients in our blender, the next step is to simply give it time. Allow maybe five to seven minutes for your frozen produce to thaw a little bit. It'll make the blending process go so much more smoothly, pun intended, and like I said, Said, you'll be able to add less liquid which equals more creaminess and the final step before we get to blending is I'm gonna add a plant protein I almost always add this Sun Warrior vanilla warrior blend to our nice creams and smoothie bowls because it makes it thicker but it also adds another depth of flavor it's so so amazingly delicious and especially because Dusty and I are highly active we love the boost of protein so if you guys are interested in trying any Sun Warrior products they've also got a greens powder Powder we add to our green smoothies. They've got liquid light mineral rush. They've got an immunity blend and magnesium that helps us sleep at night. Anything and everything. They go great in smoothies. We will link it below. Use Eat Move Rest for 20% off. Our last and final step is to get blending. This tamper is going to make all the difference. Is it good? <laughs> so there you have it you guys how smooth and creamy does this nice cream look this is one of our favorite blends because it's super high in antioxidants thanks to all of the berries which means it's gonna be great for your immune system and it's one of the best tasting smoothie bowls out there in my opinion so if you guys like this video if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and join us here at the eat move rest headquarters and leave us some love in the comments below so we can get to know you as well. Share this with any friends or family members who might like it. And follow us daily at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanziks. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.